Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Alicia and I'm back with another DIY video. Not my typical crafting videos. I had made these little ponytails for my goddaughter and they came out so cute. So I said, you know what, I wanted to make her some more. So I said, you know what, let me go ahead and record this so I can share this with my YouTube family. These ponytails are so cute. They're basically like little twists with beads and barrettes at the end and the top of them. They're super easy to install. They just make it super easy and quick to do your child's hair especially if you're doing it in the morning before they go to school so i had made my my god baby a dress for christmas and i wanted to make her some red um hair accessories to go with it so i chose to make these so you know what enough said i'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into this so for this to make these ponytails the same way that i did the kind of hair that i chose to get is called kinky twist braid marley style and the color i have is a color number two and the reason why i chose this hair is because when i saw it in a beauty supply store the 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 texture of it just matched african-american hair or it basically it matches my god baby's hair perfectly as far as the texture the look of it the feel of it the color everything just matched her natural hair so i wanted to use something that will really really blend with her hair so it won't you can't tell that it's like extensions or weave so this hair is really fluffy it's really soft it was easy to separate because to, to do the twist, you have to separate the strands. It was super easy to separate. It didn't knot up and kink up too much. I thought it would, but it didn't. It's not human hair, of course, but it is a really good quality of hair to use for these ponytails. So basically, it comes with two bundles. And I used less than one bundle to make three of these ponytails. And when you open the bundle, the pieces are basically pretty much already separated. You just have to pull them apart. So the pieces are really low. Long. so what I did was I basically folded it in half all the way evenly and then I went ahead and cut each piece in half basically out of one strand or one piece I can get two twists so by cutting it in half I'm able to use each piece to create two twists to go on one of our ponytails okay and then i also went ahead and used some shining jam and some got to be glued now i would have preferred to use some weave glue but i f completely forgot to buy some i thought i had some at home but i didn't and if i knew that i didn't have any more i would have went ahead and bought some so i went ahead and used got to be glue in, in place of weave glue but it is better to use the weave glue and so i'm just going to go ahead and separate a couple of more pieces and cut them in half and just lay them flat then after that i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how i set up the barrettes to start doing the twist Okay guys, so I went ahead and separated six pieces because I'm going to go ahead and make six twists for each ponytail bundle. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys my accessories. I'm going to be using these red bubble barrettes. I'm going to be using these also red bow clips for the ends of the the twist and I'm also going to be doing some red beads as well and the red beads are solid red beads and they're also like a clear glitter red beads as well the beads was two dollars the bow clips was a dollar and the bubble barrettes was also a dollar so I'm going to go ahead and open up my barrettes and you also want to make sure that you count how many barrettes you have depending on how many ponytails you want to make so this set came with about 10 bubble barrettes all together so i basically said okay since i want to make three ponytails i'm going to do three barrettes on each ponytail so i still had one left over okay and then i went ahead and used an assortment of on each twist i put 
some of them I did red and some of them I did the clear glitter so basically since I'm doing six twists on each ponytail every other twist I had solid red beads and every other twist I went ahead and put the glare the clear red glitter beads so I use like basically an assortment of each three um, twists had solid red beads and three twists had the clear glitter I'm sorry guys I'm doing this voiceover at night so you have to excuse me <laughs> if I don't sound clear enough so this piece of wood that I'm using is my crafting wood okay and I just went ahead and I drilled or I just you know screwed a nail about four inches apart and this is good if um, you can also tape your barrettes to the table but it was better to just go ahead and do it this way and when i open up the barrette i'll go ahead and stretch it so that each barrette has a knot so i want the knot to be in the center to make it easier to put on my nails so i just went ahead and stretched that knot to put that knot in the center and i just went ahead and just hooked each side of the barrette onto each one of the nails that makes it so easy to just go ahead and install the twist and I'm going to show you guys how in a second so I just went ahead and stretched each barrette put the the knot or the, the center of the barrette in the middle and just went ahead and put each end of the barrette on one of each of the nails this was so easy to make I had a piece of wood from one of my bookshelves that I didn't use because I didn't want that many rows on the bookshelf I, I just went ahead and screwed on two nails four inches apart and that's it so I'm gonna be using let's jam extra hold you don't have to use any products at all I'm only using this because I wanted to kind of keep the hair together as far as like flyaways and just to make it look as neat as possible when I'm doing the twist like I said you don't have to and I didn't want it to look super neat because I still wanted to mimic natural you know hair you know what I mean so you know natural hair do have flyaways does get puffy do frizz so I didn't put too much gel I didn't overdo it with gel I just put enough to kind of keep it kind of together if that makes sense so I'm going to grab one end of my strand and then I'm going to just go ahead and wrap it around the elastic center of the barrettes. And that's the reason why I like the idea of doing the nails, screwing the nails on the board because it makes it so much easier. So you just go ahead and you just wrap it around and then after I wrap it around, just go ahead and start doing my single strand twist. Super easy guys. And when you're doing your single strand twist, if you want to put more gel while you're doing it, you can. But like I said, me personally, I didn't want it to look too neat because I wanted it to mimic natural twisted African American hair. You know, I didn't want it to look like weave or too much like weave once I installed it in my goddaughter's hair. I'm just going to go ahead and do a single strand twist all the way down, right? And this piece is even... A lot longer than what I wanted it to be because her natural hair is short so I didn't want the twist to be too long so I only wanted it to be about six to seven inches long so this was a lot longer than that so once I finished the twist I went ahead and took like my tape measure and this was after I put the beads so I'm gonna go ahead and put the beads first and I just gonna go ahead and separate some of the clear glitter from the solid reds and I went I believe that I put six either five or six beads on each twist I think I did five might have did six but to be on a safe side I think I did five just to make sure that I had enough beads to do all three of the the ponytails so these yeah those are the clear with the red glitter and these beads are really really cute i thought it wasn't going to look good with the beads and the clip barrette but everything came out looking real good when they were done i just went ahead and winded the end of that that twist that we just made just wind it so you, it'll be easier for you to get the bead on now the beads do come with like a bead attacher or like a little string you can use to put the beads on but i just do everything by hand so that's what i'm used to doing so I just went ahead and wind, winded the end of it and stuck about five to six beads on there. Then after I stuck the beads on there, I took a little clamp clip, like a little metal, like, like a prong clip, took a little prong and went ahead and put um, put it at the ends of the beads. This is how cute they look, guys. See how nice that is? It's really, really cute. I just went ahead and put it underneath the beads to hold the beads in place so that they don't fall off. And I just took my tape measure and I measured nine inches the reason why i did nine inches is because i want the ponytail to be no longer than about seven but i needed two extra inches because i'm also going to wrap 
the ends of the hair around our red bow barrette okay so i just went ahead and cut each strand at about nine inches okay and then after i did that i just went ahead and remove the clamp or our little prong that we put on there then i went ahead and got one of our red clips and then i went ahead and just wrapped it around the end of that ponytail that's when i went ahead and used our got to be glued because i wanted you know with children they pull at their hair and stuff so using weave glue would have been better if i have gotten some okay i did go back in after i made these and i put rubber bands because i said you know what once this girl gets these in her hair she's going to pull at it because you know they get so excited once they get their hair done so they shake their head they pull at it i said if she gets the clip off the beads are going to fly right off so i did go in after and put rubber bands to keep the beads in place so in case she pull off the clip barrette the beads won't fall off but using hair glue would have been a better choice so if you're doing this guys instead of using got to be glued go ahead and use you some weave glue when you're wrapping the end of that twist around that clip because once that weave glue dries that clip ain't going nowhere you can even use a blow dryer on light heat setting and blow it as well to make the glue dry faster but if you're going to be using it like the next day or an, uh, you're making the ponytails for like a certain date the glue is going to dry by itself but if you want it to dry fast you can go ahead and put the blow dryer on low heat and dry you know the glue with the clip attached to it and it'll it'll secure immediately okay and that these ponytails will last you for a good a while just don't put it in a place where the child can get to it and when they come home take out their hair put it away that's it <laughs> as long as they can't get to it these will last you for a good little minute okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and do a couple of more twist strands i probably just go ahead and finish this first one on camera then i'll do the other two sets off camera so it's basically self-explanatory as you're watching it you can just go ahead and pick up on what i'm doing there's no right or wrong way of doing this guys i mean regardless it's going to come out nice use whatever color barrettes and beads and clips that you want to use and just go ahead and and make your child some ponytails i mean this is like to be honest with you this might sound like i'm overdoing it but this is like some revolutionary shit okay because this makes doing a child's hair okay so much easier in the morning because as a child my mom would do our hair the night before and put us in a bonnet but when we wake up the bonnet be in the bed like the bonnet not nowhere near our head because especially if you have a crazy sleeper and I was a crazy sleeper. I would sometimes wake up on the floor. Like that's how wild I was. I don't know what I was dreaming about. But I would wake up on the floor. Okay. So it was pointless doing our hair at night. But if you want to like put your child's hair in a style at night. Just so you can get it ready for the morning. And then you can put the ponytails in the morning. That's easier too. Because my mom used to try to do our hair at night. And put the beads in at night. But when I tell you that is so uncomfortable to sleep in. I would not recommend that for no child. Okay. <laughs> so definitely get you a pack of this hair or whatever hair you choose because if you're going to do braid ponytails you can also get braid in here so get you some hair child get you some barrettes make different color styles ponytails just make life easier on yourself mother okay make life easier on yourself sis so i'm going to go ahead and finish up and you guys can go ahead and just watch me do it and then i'm going to come back and show you guys basically the end result
Okay, guys, so I basically went ahead and finished the um, this ponytail, and I did, like I said, I did six twists all together, and this is how they look. I think six twists was enough. I didn't want to push it and do a seventh one because, like I said, I don't want it to look too much like weave. I want it to look as natural as possible, and when you, if you think about it, when you comb your child's hair and you twist the ends of her hair when, you, when you're combing it, how many twists does she have? You know what I'm saying? Do she have six, seven, eight? No. Usually between about four or five maybe six the most so i wanted to keep it as natural as possible this is how it looks it looks very nice um i know my camera isn't that great guys my next investment to doing youtube is to get myself a really good camera so you guys can really get the full effect when i am making things and teaching you guys projects so but this is how it looks it looks really really nice i like it i really really like it super cute super super cute and so easy and quick to make guys definitely make these for your little girls i am telling you okay i'm gonna make so many more and i'm also gonna try to film as many of my of them as possible just to give you guys color ideas and everything so i just wanted to show you guys the hair again real quick because i wanted to, to show you guys how far or how much you can get out of this one pack of hair the hair was five dollars and it came with two bundles so i have one whole bundle left and i didn't only make those three red, red ones i had made two pink ones as well that i'm going to show you guys so i had made the two pink ones first and once i saw how nice it came out i said okay let me make some red ones and record that one so the basically I made two pink red two pink ponytails and three red ponytails and that used one bundle. So that was five ponytails in just one bundle plus one whole bundle left over where I can make five more. So basically out of this one five dollar pack of hair, you can possibly make ten ponytails altogether. That's not bad at all. You understand? That's not bad at all. You can get a bunch of different styles going. 10 different ponytails out of just one pack of hair. So definitely consider getting that brand. I'm not sure if every single brand comes with two bundles, but that one does. And these are all the ponytails together. The three red plus the two pink. I did hot pink, white, and light pink. And it just came out so cute. I didn't put any beads on that one. And I actually made the twist on this one a little bit thicker not too thick but thicker than the red ones so i chose to do it thinner when i made the red ones because i wanted to see how it looked you know basically if i did it thinner and not as thick but yeah they still came out nice i mean 
here's an up close look at it they came out really really cute i did the same length where i cut them nine inches and then by the time you rose up the ends they're about seven inch ponytails you can do shorter you can do longer to eat to each his own you know what i mean but yeah that guys they came out so cute the red ones are going to look really really cute with her little grinch outfit and let me go ahead and give you guys a sneak peek of the dress that i made her i made her basically she's supposed to be doing grinch pictures if her mother can find the grinch photography people i don't know how that goes but so i had made her a grinch dress so that she can use those red ponytails to go with the dress i was going to do red and green but i didn't want to overdo it with the green because the grinch himself is already green i didn't want it to be too much lime green so i just went ahead and did the ponytail in solid red so but this is the dress that i made her i'm actually i actually recorded myself designing the dress which i'm going to put up that video as well so yeah this is the grinch dress that she's going to wear i made the dress completely from scratch and i also have my sewing patterns for sale on the website as well but i made her the dress with the matching hair bow and the matching ruffle socks or ruffle anklets okay everything came out really cute i loved it i actually put some of these dresses for sale on the website and they sold so fast like it shocked the hell out of me i think i had made like 22 of them and they were majority of them were gone in like a week and a half so i think i have a few more left on the site if you are interested but yeah they definitely sold pretty fast so once her mom saw it her mom said you have to make one for makayla so of course i made her one as well she's gonna be super cute in her little outfit guys with her ponytails so what i think i'm gonna do i think i want to do a kids version of a get ready with me that'll be so cute featuring my guy baby makala so i think i'm gonna have her come over for the weekend and just do her hair install the ponytails and then record all of that and then record her putting on her dress and just show you guys the entire outfit with the ponytails how they look all together that's definitely what i'm gonna go ahead and do so yeah guys if you made it all the way to the end of this video thank you so much for watching go ahead and like comment and subscribe definitely subscribe so that you can see when i post up new videos i'm gonna go ahead and do the get ready with me with makayla and i'm gonna go ahead and put that up in a few days so definitely subscribe so you can get the notification when i put that video up i'm gonna try to do as many different videos like that as i can i'm gonna do some more ponytail videos i'm just gonna hit you guys with a bunch of videos going into the new year i hope you don't get tired of me so but thank you so much for your support thank you for being patient and i am so ready to just bring you guys a bunch of crafts a bunch of projects sewing everything okay i'm gonna have y'all set for 2023 okay but thank you guys so much and like always god bless